Billy. What? What? Yeah. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. The weather's warming up. Man. Just very exciting. So let's take a walk. <sighs> What's up, y'all? I'm Dusty, this is Fox Holler Homestead. <laughs> I hope that each and every one of you is doing amazing. This is going to be an update on what's going on with the property and permits and all that. You know what? I think I'm going to jump out on the swing real quick. You want to watch? Let's do it. Remember when I, myself and Regina and the kids first came out here, we came across this big tree over here. We called it the Lovers. It's a big maple tree. Well, it's two of them. See? And they uh, wrap around themselves. Hence the reason why we called it the Lovers. Hmm. Cool trees over there. Two hemlocks growing out of a cedar stump. Pretty cool. Whew. Well, as far as our permit goes. So we've been dealing with, for those of you guys that have been following, we have been dealing with the county for, I'm just going to repeat myself for those of you guys that already know, for the ones that are watching for the first time. Um, we submitted our permit for clearing and grading. Um, now, we submitted it uh, 16 months ago. Now, clearing what clearing and grading entails is our driveway goes up to a certain certain point, it stops up at the top. Well, from that point, we want to cross, continue crossing over because the build site is actually on the other side of the property. That's where we're gonna uh, put the driveway and then clear the build site and eventually build our house. So that's the plan. Um, like I said, almost 16 months ago, we uh, submitted this permit, submitted for the permit. Now, we have had ups and downs when it comes to this. And um, for every... Oh, puppies are following. Oh, Bailey, there you are. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi, buddy. What's up, buddy? Huh? You okay? Huh? You okay? I think I'm going to be able to be out here with Bailey following me. Bears are starting to wake up, so we're really not trying to wrestle a bear right now. And they will look at him like food. But, like I said, uh, 16 months ago, on a permit that they initially told us was going to take six to eight months at the most. Again, we've had ups and downs. Um, round and round. Now the initial contract or the initial, what is it? Uh, um, 
the application for the clearing and grading said $1,500. Now, when we finally applied for it, they were like, oh no, that has to do with something else. It's, uh, it's $8,500, $8,500. That was very, that was the beginning of it. Uh, needless to say, we did pay. And um, then we ha thought we had all of the paperwork that it detailed, like literally all of the paperwork. So we submitted all that paperwork and it went like, months went by and we didn't hear anything. Now we tried, I tried to email, I tried to call and since COVID, no county worker is working in an office. They don't just don't, they just don't do it. All of them work from home, probably sit in their jammies, which would be pretty cool. Uh, and then they answer you whenever they get around to it. So, there's another tree that came down. And it's tilting, it's falling over. So, we finally get uh, corrections back. They're like, yeah, we need to have uh, this and this and this fixed. I'm like, okay. It's very rare that, you know, one time try, it's gonna work. It's just one time, that's it. So we send in corrections, or send it into the, to the engineer, comes back, we submit it again. And this process goes on and on. Like I said, we're 16 months into it into a six to eight month permit. And then last summer, we thought after we put up our land notification sign at the beginning of the driveway, we were told, yeah, it's any, any time you're gonna get your permit. And then probably about, I didn't hear from them for like a month or two. And granted, I probably could have been nicer, but I sent an email and I was very impatient and I was not super stoked about it. And I wasn't very nice. I wasn't like cussing or nothing like that, but I was like, you know, this is inappropriate. You know, you guys are messing with our lives. We're not these giant developers, et cetera, et cetera. Well, two days later, they gave us three pages worth of brand new stuff to go over. That cost us, costed us close to around 10 grand. We had to get a brand new CAD on the certain part or one of the parcels and then we had to go through geo tech and this and that and then i had to prove my driveway the driveway that's here right now i had to prove that it had permits when it was put in which i thought is funny because the people that are requesting that you prove your driveway for permits are the same people that do the permits like you guys are the ones with the records what are you asking me for Anyway, I went through due diligence and I found out, found this website where I found aerial photos from 1950, 1952, something like that. And um, lo and behold, the driveway was there. Um, and I said, I submitted those pictures because I think it's like 1970 or 1974 is when they actually started doing permits. So it was grandfathered in, pretty awesome. That was a huge plus. So we didn't have to go through the geotech and all that stuff. See, anytime I don't have a tripod, my arm gets all shaky. But, so we submitted all that stuff a couple months ago. And uh, about two weeks ago, we received what the, this thing online that's called mypermit.com through King County. That's where you find out all your updates. They're not gonna tell you, you've gotta constantly check this website. It just says in review, in review, in review, which is good. It's like in review, that's, that's awesome. Then, two weeks ago, we receive a letter on the website. And I guess these things are called red lines. It's a bunch of brand new stuff that they are requesting that I'm pretty sure they could have just asked for it from the very beginning. There was no, nothing in that application that said anything even remotely close to this. And I just thought it was some wording that needed to be fixed or more clarification or what have you. So I sent it back to the um, engineer and they were totally clueless. They were like, I, I don't understand. I thought we, we clarified all of this, but now it's asking in a different way, which is the most absurd thing that I've ever heard. So 
That's how I found out it's called redlining. So I've been in contact with an engineer and I was just emailed this morning because I said, is this something that you guys can clean up pretty quick? Because we have a, um, an end date, like a due date to have all this stuff done by April 23rd. So he comes back and he says, this is an enormous amount of work and we're going to get right on it. But one of the things that I did say, because I just, I literally just, I just made a payment to them for $1,800 for goofy stuff, like just goofy stuff. And uh, in that email that says it's a bunch of work, we're going to start on it ASAP. Um, by the way, it's going to cost around $7,500. Um, that's, uh, that's disappointing. Um, I mean, I, I am trying to get it. I'm trying to understand and recognize that this is the process, but this should not be the process, really. 16 months and almost $20,000 into a permit just to cut my trees down and build a road. I'm not even paving the road. All I'm doing is, uh, it's called a, uh, a primitive road. And I specifically went for, for a primitive road because that just means it's gravel and you maintain it with gravel. That way you don't have to go through all the you know paving and all the crazy amounts of stuff that they require for a permit for that. Um, almost $20,000 into it. I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. I'm trying to be optimistic, as optimistic as possible. Um, but this needs to be done by April 23rd. Now also, we have taxes for the property next month. And because the property is, uh, I think the whole property is, is uh, labeled as residential, um, we have to pay as if there was a house on the property, which there isn't yet. So our property taxes are pretty up there. So basically what it comes down to is in the next month before the 23rd, I need to come up with $11,000 total, uh, which is why I have the thumbnail with me sitting next to the scooters. I got two Harleys. One's almost paid off. The other one is paid off. Um, and I really hate doing this. But uh, when it comes down to it, I mean, I love my bikes more than any. I've loved every bike that I've ever had. But when it comes down to it, without hesitation, it's going to hurt. But without hesitation, I will sell those bikes in order to get the money to make sure that I can provide a life for my family. There is no material thing on this world that means more than my family does. And um, I'm gonna be selling those, um, the 2019 Road Glide Special, it's all custom, and a 2009 Sportster Chopper, custom chopper. Probably going to also sell the chainsaw that I got last year, the steel. 881 Magnum 881 and I don't want to do that either but I really don't see any other option right now so I'm going to be positive I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to manifest awesomeness so that's what's going on with the property right now that's what's going on with permits um yeah it's, <laughs> this has been such a ride. To each and every person out there, if you ever think that you find a beautiful property in King County, Washington State, absolutely 100% do not buy it. Don't buy it. Unless you're like a, unless you're like a multimillionaire, don't assume that you're gonna be able to build a house. Because honestly, it would be cheaper. It's cheap. We got into this thinking that it was going to be cheaper to buy property and build a house than it was to go buy somebody else's house 
for an insane amount of money, especially in Washington State, especially in King County. Plus, we needed property. We wanted to do the homesteading thing. We wanted to do something different that we could hand down to our kids. Please don't go to King County. It's a horrible place. A hor- not the, I'm not talking about the, the area. The area is beautiful. I'm talking about the politics and the bureaucracies. and the, it is, It's so inappropriate. Um, and again, unless you're like a multi-millionaire developer or you've got some sort of capital backing, they make it as hard as possible. But again, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep on pushing through. This is our dream. And uh, I bought a rotisserie chicken at uh, KF- QFC. Not KFC, no. Okay. At QFC. And I got some barbecue sauce. I'm going to go make myself some lunches for tomorrow. I'm going to be at work tomorrow. I got to start. I got to climb the crane at 4.30. And I... Uh, we're pouring a deck so I'll probably be there from 4 30 a.m. until 6 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow night so I need to make a bunch of food and uh, again I got nothing but love and blessings for all y'all out there I hope that each one of you and your families is amazing and this is not a bad thing it's not easy by far but we find out a little bit more about ourselves every time we go through something like this. I'm not taking it as hard as I used to. It's very frustrating. And I don't want to sell my Arlies. I don't. But you know what? There's a million Harleys out there and I know that one will eventually come around. I know that my, my, uh, my dream bike is uh, like a 76 shovel head. 1976 shovel head. That's my dream bike. So I think that someday that'll come around. But again, I got nothing but love and blessings for all y'all out there. I hope that you're doing amazing. I'm going to go for now, but uh, we'll see you soon.